All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Kodash, Double House of the Apostles, others, great millstone, and sensation of brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity and with charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is your brother, Yannick Guy, comes to the Great Millstone, Chicago, can't come at you with another lesson, low as edifying. This is going to be a quick scripture today. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Keisha is done. You know, the nigga woman is done. When I say nigga woman, I mean from all 12 tribes, man. All the way from the top, Judah, all the way down to the fucking turtle back ass Mexicans, Izzycarts, man. These bitches ain't shit. All right? They're really not. All right? And, and fucking just reading off the title of this one. It says, Florida only fans mother is evil. Charged with child neglect starving her five-month-old baby to death. This bitch is more worried about fucking OnlyFans, about people subscribing to her shit, making money, you know, and, and she probably got pregnant by some nigga that she, she hates, and, and and now to get back, because a lot of these women do that, man. What they do is when they when when they mad at their the husband or the baby daddy and all that, they take it out on the kids. To, to to hurt the father, you know, which is really fucked up. It's messed up in the head, man. Whether they stop them from seeing their kids, whether they, they put them on child support, whether they uh, 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 talk shit, talk down about them, you know, keep them while they down. These women do that shit, man. All right? And that's why scripture says, uh, 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 which I'm going to bring out, See, my the daughter of Zion has become cruel, man. This is a cruel act, man. A five-month-old baby starved to death. This bitch over here showing ass, shaking ass, showing titties, all types of shit, man. And that's why scripture says that uh, uh, she wiped with her mouth and, and, she, and she has done nothing wrong, man. They don't see what they're doing is fucking wrong. This is if shit. Putting a fucking five-month-old baby to death by starving it is horrible, man. And this is the fucking society that we live in. It shows you who's in rulership because a... Hey, when the wicked are in rule, the people mourn. <laughs> but when the when when the righteous are in authority, the people the people rejoice. Here the holidays coming up, the wicked ass whole light day, Christmas, Christmas. Everybody, Merry Christmas. What's so fucking merry about it? We're still in slavery. We're still in the hood. We're still oppressed. The fuck, everybody's in mourning. And after your little. Two, three fucking days off. A week off. I'm going right back to work. Nigga. Alright. But let me go ahead and let this play. And uh, bring out that scripture, man. It's hard to not have your stomach turn reading it. In the arrest report, JSO officers that responded detailed that the baby's ribs were protruding from its body with its stomach caved in. And in the arrest report, it also says that medical officials noted the baby was extremely malnourished, weighing just around seven pounds. And for some comparison and context, according to the CDC, the average weight of a five month old boy is typically around 16 pounds, over double of that. The arrest report says, upon investigation, JSO was also given surveillance video showing McGowan abusing this five-month-old boy, hitting him repeatedly, among other acts, in the clubhouse of her apartment complex just days before the child's death. Action News Jax's law and safety expert Dale Carson is a former FBI agent and police officer with decades of experience. He says this report paints the picture of a woman incapable of controlling her emotions. Clearly, the behavior of the mother in this case is, well, it's tragic is what it is. I mean, it clearly is someone who has no ability to control her emotions, or no impulse control. A Tanaya McGowan in Jacksonville took to social media after the incident, posting photos of what appears to be her now deceased child, saying the hospital still wouldn't tell her what happened. According to the arrest papers, McGowan also told investigators the baby had never been taken to the doctors after his birth, something Carson says is typical and usually intentional in the case of an abused 
or neglected child. If a child had been in medical care, clearly they would have foreseen what the prognosis might have been if the child wasn't properly cared for, and they are obligated under the law to contact uh, law enforcement and to disclose, to disclose these issues. Carson says in a case like this, with the alleged combination of neglect and abuse ending in the death of a child, that typically carries up to 30 years in prison. Carson also noted the fact that the abuse was memorialized, as he called it, or caught on video. A court would be more likely to go for the maximum sentence if there is a conviction. But he says cases like this don't typically go to trial. Instead, they typically end in plea deal agreements. The local coverage you could count on live from the north side of Jacksonville. Look and that's what it is, man. These bitches ain't shit, man. All right. They talk so down upon the men and all that, but when the man is, that's why they take away the, the men out the household, man. It's a whole strategy. The man has the household in order. And none of that shit would have never happened. This bitch is so, her head is so stuck up off, far, far up her ass in social media that she's more worried about everything else besides her five-month-old baby. Had no patience with the baby. Abused the baby. Neglected the baby. Starved the baby. They, they mentioned that the baby should weigh like, seven pounds. They, at, at the five months, they should be around 15, 16, 17 pounds. The baby was half that. And this is not the only case. This is the only case that probably they should, that made it to the news. There's many women like that, man. The baby's found in garbage cans damn near almost every day. Child being neglected. You know? And that woman needs death, man. She a wicked ass woman, man. And she really needs death. Not no fucking plea deal. This is Lamentations chapter four. I'm gonna just start at one. It says, "How is the gold become dim? How is the most how is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion comparable to fine gold." How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? The work of the hands of the potter. You know, and we fell off, man. And we, we, and look at our people. Look at our women. Look at our men. Hey, the fucking, hey, both of them shaking ass. Fucking all in the LGBTQ community and all the types of wickedness, man. Look at our nation, man. This ain't the only woman. They, and there's, there's, there's a woman like this in each fucking tribe, man. It says, verse 3, it says, Even the sea monster, even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. Our people have, our, these women have become cruel, man. Look what she, that was a cruel act. They, hey, man. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That was a, and this is why we need salvation, man. This is the type of world you want to live in? This is the type of world that you think the Lord loves? Hell no. He's angry with, angry <laughs> with the wicked each and every day. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And people like her and, and the rest of them, they soon, they, just because it has, the judgment has uh, happened expediently, it's going to come, man. That's fucked up, man. They <laughs> really need death. But no one's edifying scripture today. You know, even the sea monsters, the fucking animals. Gives, uh, 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 draw out the breast and give suck to the young. And our fucking women are, are doing this type of shit, man. This was, this was, they follow everything. They follow the, the lust of the flesh. And this is what happens. But, Lord, hey, call along by your help. I'll try the ones edifying lesson. Until next time, say shalom and a bob a